That's your boy Mo Love, man. Sitting out here on the porch, you know, marinade, you know. I am rich. Uh, of course, y'all might not know that's a uh, <laughs> trademark right there for that Miller High Life, right? So they got this new little smartphone. You know, I never really dealt with smartphones before, but my camera broke down, so I had this one sitting in the box. I said, well, uh, I can use the camera on it. Anyways, I saw some pictures of my dog Money, made a little video. I put the OJ song in there for the love of money. And uh, I gave credit for the soundtrack in the, in the video. It, it just strike me odd that the, the program that they got for Windows 10, it got shared to Facebook on it. And you got the ability to put a soundtrack in your little home video and that's what I be doing you know cuz it make it more entertaining and, you know they got me on video restriction now so I had to put my little morning routine up on YouTube but, uh, anyway I'm grateful today that you know my family and friends are so far that I heard of and down in uh, West Palm Beach Florida everybody's safe and sound you know throughout this little hurricane it's echo, uh, just a demonstration of some of God's power, you know. Even God had to remind us who He is sometimes, you know, because we take so many little small blessings like breathing for granted. I could stop breathing right now in this video if it was God's will. He has that power, that authority, and so you must respect that authority above all authorities. And that's why sometimes these laws of man. I don't pay them no attention. But I go to the Word, and I see in Romans where it says, Obey all governing laws, for they are ordained by God. But then again, I know Paul wrote this, and I know Paul wrote it. Actually, he wrote the letter to the Romans, so he was really bowing down to their culture anyways. So that's what they do, you know. They uh, have a lot of rules and regulation. The government dictate. They had that's where he first got a, like a democracy of the senators and whatnot. They had in Rome, ancient Rome. But I also realized that the Most High used Paul for a stumbling block. That he told us he prophesied about, and Peter told you that Paul's teaching was gonna be hard. So I can give you all type of example where. People have broke man's laws in order to fulfill God's plan. And they mention in the Bible, like a whore, a harlot, Rahab, when she hid Joshua and Caleb when they went to spy in Jericho. And she told the king that she didn't know where they were about. Well, she lied which was act of treason and it was against the law but it was god had a higher purpose for her and that's why her name is in the bible and i can mention it right now so you know sometimes you have to do like the word saying you know study to show yourself approved you know unto god the word said a workman need not be ashamed to rightly divide the word of truth and that's what I be trying to do for my friends sometimes. I know I come off hard. I'm not like no other preacher that you ever seen, probably. Especially, you know, my background. <laughs> but anyways, it just shows you that's just another testimony of the goodness of God, you know. I could get into a lot of uh, historical facts that would really crush your religion but I just say this right here and this this straight from the most high through me to the aid of the, of the Holy Spirit will speak right now God the most high Elohim did not give you no religion he gave you laws and statutes on how he wants you to live his life if you want to be considered one of his children it's just that simple 
The book of Ecclesiastes said in the 12th chapter, in the 13th verse, it let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God, obey his command, for this is the whole duty of man. For he will bring every work, whether evil or good, <laughs> under judgment. Okay? So, you know, if, if you adopt a child in your home, and you got other children, and you say, this is how my children live in this house. These are my rules and regulations. You want to be one of my children, this is what you're going to have to do in this household. And you a little rebellious child, you say, man, I'll fuck you. You know, you know what? A good parent, he loved a disobedient child. He still love him. He just whooped that ass if you're a good one. But after so long, saying, I keep telling you these my rules, but you want to do it your way, you go ahead and do it your way, and you get put out. Any parent out there know that. So why, if God told his children, this is what he wants you to do, and this is how he wants you to live. And you said, no, nah, I'm not going to do that because this was the European. I'm going to say the European where Jesus came. Anyway, God is good. We out.